Thanks for, for coming here. Um, about 9.40 this morning, um, we were alerted, actually, uh, uh, several individuals from uh, the Sheriff's Office, uh, folks that work in uh, our court services, uh, division, special investigations unit, and then some members of the Franklin County Drug Task Force were alerted to a altercation that was taking place in the commissioner's parking garage uh, right next to our office. Um, they came to the aid of a female uh, who was yelling for help. Um, don't have a lot of detail in terms of what was going on. Um, some speculation that it was a robbery, some speculation that it was domestic related, but what I can tell you is there were two males and one female involved in the altercation. As the officers arrived to try to uh, break those in individuals up, um, they came under attack as well um, from at least one of the participants. Um, and then at that point, uh, what, I, what I do know is that at least one shot was fired. Um, and we have two individuals, one of the males and the female who was transported uh, to Grant Hospital, one in critical, one I would call stable, uh, with non-life-threatening injuries. Um, and so we have asked um, Ohio BCI to conduct the investigation, um, and we've asked them to treat this as an officer-involved shooting, although we have reason to believe that the officers uh, did not fire. Um, and so um, any more information as a result of this investigation uh, can and should come from uh, BCI. Is BCI involved because the deputy's weapon was taken and used in the altercation? Uh, BCI is involved because uh, it is um, generally our policy that anytime our officers are involved in an officer-involved shooting, um, that we ask BCI to come in as that third party for transparency to conduct that independent investigation. And so uh, BCI is not a member of the Franklin County Drag Drug Task Force. And so, again, to keep that independence, that's why we, we asked BCI to come in. But was the deputy's gun used in the altercation? Um, still yet to be determined. Um, there was at least obviously one gun, and I'm told one shot was fired. Whose gun that was, uh, we'll sort that out. So multiple guns were recovered? Well, you had four officers involved, um, and then three civilians, and so certainly there was more than one, one gun present. So, and How many were used? We'll, we'll have to figure that out later. Ben, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Her How question many? was there were multiple guns. Well, it was four officers, so sure there's multiple guns. All of the individuals, are they all accounted for? We haven't talked to anybody. BCI will handle the investigation in terms of the interview, the collecting of the evidence, their labs, and so forth. And so at the end of the day, if this case requires one to be presented to the Franklin County Grand Jury, then BCI will, will do that as well. Any deputies injured? None of the officers were injured, at least none seriously. Um, and again, uh, two were transported, uh, the civilian parties that were involved. When you say one shot was fired, was one of those individuals struck by a, a yes, bullet? Yes, that's correct. When you said non-life-threatening injuries, was that to both of them or just to the person in stable state? So none of the officers were injured. Um, the female that was transported, that was involved, non-life-threatening injuries, um, and then one of the, uh, the males was transported, um, I would call it critical. Y yes, yes. And currently we had the garage shut down for a brief period of time um, and the garage has been reopened except the floor that this uh, incident was involved in. So people can, can get in and out unless you're right there where it happened and it might be a little, might be a couple of hours. Chief, do we know what they were doing there? Were any of them <coughs> here for a court date or inmates? or anything of that sort? That we, that we don't know. Um, this altercation took place um, right outside of the, the car that at least one of them arrived in, um, and so that's all I can tell you right now. Are there cameras right there? So that's one of the things we're checking on right now. There are cameras throughout the garage, um, and it's been our experience in the past when we've had uh, you know, vehicle thefts and things like that. Those cameras have been useful. So hopefully, uh, where this happened, the position of the cameras, that they'll also be useful in this, in this incident and make things a little easier to to see what r really happened. So are we going to wait till BCI is done to determine any charges at all, or are you already formulating something, or is it going to go tandem? Where you are with that? 
Yeah, and so BCI will be the lead investigator. Um, and so how this works is uh, they're the lead investigator, they're calling the shots. And so um, because you know, we're, you know, we're here, it's the sheriff's office, we'll support them. And so anything that BCI needs out of us, that, that we'll, we'll certainly provide that, but those calls will be made by them. And so if, if charges are appropriate, that'll be a call that BCI will consult with the prosecutor's office and uh, uh, they may need us to help them file the charges, but that'll be a decision that BCI will make. And also, they were brought in as a prevention. You don't know for sure who fired the shot. You just want them. Exactly. Exactly. And the deputies right now, will they be placed on any kind of administrative duty or anything kind of this investigation? And so I can speak for those with the sheriff's office that are involved. Keep in mind, there, there are, um, there's at least one of the people that were involved that's not from our office. And so we'll, you know, we'll rely on their, their policy. Um, but three of the individuals that were uh, involved are from the sheriff's office and so our policy is is yes those individuals will be placed on administrative leave they go through a psych evaluation and if and when they're cleared to come back to duty they will do you know what agency the other officer was with yeah i don't want to get into that right now it's one of the task force um, members um, so the frank county drag drug task force is made up of uh, uh, mun mostly municipal but we have some surrounding counties that are involved as well um, and so I don't want to get involved in, in which agency right now. Um, haven't had a chance to talk in length um, to their, their chief. So once I have an, an opportunity to do that, maybe I, I'd be more comfortable in, in commenting on that. But it is a member agency of the Franklin County Drug Task Force. Chief, can you talk about the fact that this happened in your parking garage? Yeah, it's uh, at, at 9.30 in the morning, pretty busy time in, in the parking garage. A lot of people are coming and going, as you mentioned, uh, to court or, or, or other business to down here downtown and so yeah I mean it's a scary situation you know woman starts yelling for help and officers run to to try to provide that assistance and the next thing you know it was shot fired so yeah scary any other is that it it's easy thank you uh, did you have any information about the shooting from last night um no okay. um I, I, I know it's a I believe it was a juvenile. Again, we're working on the next of kin notification. Um, and uh, shot there or juvenile? appears shot there. Uh, caller called, um, said they heard one gunshot, looked out, saw someone laying in the parking lot. Um, when medics and officers arrived, uh, they found uh, an individual, uh, a male, um, who had one gunshot to the head. And a juvenile? I believe it is a juvenile. I want to say 16, 17 years old. What do you say to that? <laughs> this, yeah, I mean, it's tough. I mean, the, the amount of violence that we're seeing on our streets and, and you know, and, and, and it's mostly taking place with young people. And so um, for whatever reason, young people have, have decided that that's how they settle disputes, is to resort to gun violence. And, uh, you know, we're, I know that we are working very hard and so are all the other agencies around Central Ohio, as well as the community trying to find a solution here. Um, educational opportunities, so forth, but uh, yeah, it's another sad day that uh, another young person is shot and killed on, on the streets of Franklin County. Chief, random question for you. Are yeah. these uniformed deputies or are they plain clothes? Um, there was uh, both, it was a mixture of both, uniform and plain clothes. So there was some uniform presence there. You talking about He's talking about a different shooting. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, back, I'm back to All right, all right. Yeah, yes, yeah. yes, yes. Parking garage, Just yes. Combination of plain clothes and uniform. So, I mean, it was abundantly clear to these individuals who, who was coming up to help. Well, you, you, could, uh, you could draw that conclusion, someone in uniform, but again, BCI will do the interviews and, and you know, we'll, we'll, we'll go from there. I mean, if, I would assume that these people knew who was coming to their aid and they yelled for help and the next thing that they, they know that they have four individuals there trying to provide assistance. So one would, one would assume that it was the police doing so. Which is what I would assume you would want your folks to do. Yeah, absolutely. Somebody's yelling for help. That's what we're, that's what we're here to do. Absolutely.